fancy, modern, and cool. These words might have once come to mind when you thought about artificial intelligence. Think that's enough? Not really. Having served almost five million developers, tech giant Baidu's AI development platform Paddle Paddle is an online community for AI algorithm developers and application engineers to try out and refine their ideas for practical implementation in different industries. The applications developed on the platform are already serving many local companies. Its open source structure helps technologies and algorithms evolve even faster. Algorithm developers. Uh, or maybe algorithm scientists, they design algorithms or implement algorithms and open source them to the community. So each developer in this community can access this code, and on top of these, they can develop more applications. So that's why AI currently is developing very fast. If you develop a new algorithm using Paddle Paddle, you want to open source it. Uh, Baidu will help you to protect these IPs before you op open source it. With its rapid development in biomedicine, integrated circuits, and smart manufacturing industries, Shanghai has become an ideal place for the platform to develop and serve the real economy. Last year, the company opened an AI industry empowerment center in Shanghai's Zhangjiang Science City. About four or five years ago, we have seen that AI applications has been. Uh, being developed very extensively by industry. At the very beginning, it is from the internet companies and later on to uh, the financial sector. For manufacturing, you have uh, product design, production, and then how to sell all these different products. Each part can use AI to improve their efficiency. Thanks to the development of AI applications, the word smart is now used in an increasing variety of fields, industrial manufacturing, medical care, city governance, you name it. And you may even be seeing it more and more in your daily life. And nowadays, in our driver's seats, we can also see some AI applications. Wow! While I was at the door, the sensor already collected some of my health data and it showed it's kind of normal. Sense Time is showcasing its latest smart cockpit system at the ongoing AI conference. In addition to its photo app, it can even tell when there are children in the car and make special arrangements for them. Guangzhou Automobile, Psych Motor, NIO, and BYD are all our big clients. They have models applying our technologies, including intelligent cameras as well as gesture and fatigue analysis. In the first half of this year, the smart auto segment accounted for almost 10 percent of the group's revenue. Its autonomous driving service is now also taking passengers around Shanghai's Lingang area. The autonomous bus will begin running on a six-kilometer route in Lingang at the end of this month. Next month, the company will begin running three autonomous buses in Xi'an. On the route 24 kilometers long. Last December, we set up in Lingang when we got Shanghai's first demonstration application certificate for autonomous passenger buses. Based on cloud technology and our computing capability, we can lower the probability of accidents. We've also made additions to deal with situations like traffic changes or battery problems. China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology says that the scale of China's core artificial intelligence industry now exceeds 400 billion yuan, and the number of companies in the field exceeds 3,000. So AI is not just a dazzling name tag anymore, it's now even driving deeply into the real world. Zhang Shuxian, Money Talks.